Dependent. Dependent, yes. Very dependent. All right, all right, all right. We are up, we are live. What's going on, Daily Toasters? How y'all doing today? What? That's not the Daily Toaster song? That is the Daily Toaster song. We sing it all day long. The Daily Toaster song. The Daily Toaster song. We sing it all day long. What's up, y'all? We got to start early this 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 Kaumba morning. Great Kaumba to you, man. <laughs> it felt good. I came home, got to sleep. I got me some Ambrosia bottle. This is that <laughs> pure, uncut. <laughs> it just brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> that I'm able to produce such a marvel of nature and hold it in my hands. Look at that. One had almost a gallon. This, this is not quite a gallon. But I got at least five more down the basement. And I got two and a half brewing with that Justice League. And what's the Justice League? The Justice League is that lemon, lime, and ginger with cayenne. Now, why you call it the Justice League, Brother Hot Tim? Because, because... You know, it helped clear up a lot of stuff that's going on in this winter time. But I call it that because it has that super lemon, which is Superman. Then you got the lime, which is Wonder Woman, right? Superman, Wonder Woman. Their powers are very similar, right? Then you got that ginger, which is that Batman, which helps them become more effective. And then you got that fast-acting red cayenne, which is the Flash, yeah, Justice League, right? Um. So here we go. The black signal just went out. It's not and black man, it's black man. Oh, black man? Yeah, we got another one for that. That's on in that Kwame where we put that black seed. That's the black man right there. Kwame get that black man drink. All right, so we are up. I need to see who is on here. I need to make sure that our speaker lines are open. I need to make sure that the Uber conference is on, which I forgot to do before I started the show because sometimes I'll be just excited. To get started, you know what I'm saying, family? I mean, it's like, yo, I mean, this is something that I really, really love. I love having the conversations with y'all. We're opening the lines this morning because we didn't get to uh, finish the Proverbs from um, the Giami Journey Workbook. Yeah, tribal quotes. You know what I'm saying? So it's time for us to talk about these well, tribal these quotes as well. Join. So, you know, we're going to do our toast, then we're going to get it in. And if y'all don't want to discuss the tribal quotes, lines will be open so that we could discuss some of the stuff that you need or that you feel that we need to discuss, right? So um, let me go on and do, well, before we do this, the introduction, I have to sign in to my speaker, which should have been done. Of course, y'all know I'm slipping. Of course, of course. Brother Hot Tim Slipping, that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here with y'all, because y'all got my back, you know, my daily toasters that are able to get up. Because I know some of y'all into the fitness, and y'all got to get up and do y'all workouts and stuff like that. You know, because like I said, we can't service our uh, our ancestors or our children unless we are, uh, unless we got it together, right? We got to make sure we got it together so that we can make sure that we doing what we supposed to be doing. Doing it to the most effective, um, uh, the the most be, being very effective, in, in in what we do. So we have to make sure that we together. So of course we got our glass. <coughs> we got our water. <sighs> we want we want advertise because one day the daily toasters will be sponsored by water companies, right? You know, you know, because we. We advocate that before you do anything, except this morning, I have I have had some coffee with some MCT oil and some bee pollen mixed in, you know what I'm saying? But, um, and also been sampling some of the ambrosia because, you know, part of the joy of being able to get the ambrosia is that I have the right to go on and sample 
to make sure that it's up to standard, up to taste, you know? Want to make sure that it's right. Because we will serve no ambrosia before it's time. I pledge that to you. Um, we also have some inter interesting articles that uh, I will look into because I've been posting up a lot of stuff. Um, and other people have been posting up stuff on Jamie Journey. And like I said, if you want to help us uh, populate our page, by all means, let us know. Because um, like I said, man, it's like we need help. I need help writing on this um, newsletter. I want to do something monthly. You know, I can't do it. I, I can do it, but I don't want to do it all by myself. Um, you know, that's just, you know, that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? Spread the love. Spread the love, brother. Hi, Tim. Spread the love. I'm going to launch the chat app. And first off, I forgot. I need to welcome, though. I need to welcome you to the congregation of the mighty. This is Giami Journey Media. Oh, I love it when she's on point. Thank you, anime. Thank you. Give me two, three. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Unless you have a phoenix, y'all don't even understand. You see, I got a phoenix in the house, right? Keep, you know, better than a guard dog. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, motherfucker break up in here and they see a bird on fire. It's like, you know, motherfuckers are like, yeah, get the fuck up out my crib, right? And also, we want to send shots out because, you know, this is a Heart of a Simba production. Of course, you know this is the Daily Toast. We got us a spirit line up in here as well. It's not the regular line. No, no, no. This is a spirit line, right? Go on, break up in here. Come on up in here if you want, right? Come on. Come on. Phoenix and the Spirit Lion. And on top of that, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. Oh, we got a spirit explosion as well. Shit. Yo, we be we we, we be getting those spirit beings here at Giami Journey, right? I know y'all be like, but I tell you what you talking about, spirit being. Every time somebody bring up something spiritual uh, uh, on the show, you be the first to slap them down. You always talking to spirituality, but yet and still you, 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 you try to destroy when people come on here and talk about spirit. No, nah, it's not that I'm trying to destroy it. What I'm saying is if I'm going to practice it, it has to be practical. What do you mean, Brother Hotel? See, spirituality for me is about relationships. It's not... It's not about a book. It's not about. It's not about some of the shit that some of the people be talking about. It's about relationships. You want to see how spiritual somebody is? See, check out their relationships around them. Check them out. I'm serious. You really want to see the spirituality of a person? I challenge you to look at this individual's. Surroundings. Look at their relationships. Look at how they deal with people. Look at how they deal with all people. Look how they deal with people like them. Look, just look at the relationships, and that will help define that person's spirituality. Because one of the things that I have learned in my short journey in life is that the most spiritual people don't waste their time trying to convert people to how they believe. They spend their time conversating with people to expand their own faith. Right. If I'm confident and I have a true relationship with what it is I say that I believe in, then you believing what you believe does not damage my my relationship. As a matter of fact, it may strengthen my relationship or it may bring questions up in my relationship that will cause me to have to go and find some other information that can strengthen me. By us not being able to ask questions about spiritual concepts, right, and have some shit unquestionable puts us in a, a territory that I don't believe is safe. It puts us in a territory where we could be manipulated because all the powers that be, regardless of where these powers that be may be, all they have to do is change the narrative just a little bit and we won't question it. Why? Because it's the word of the creator, the word of God, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not arrogant enough to believe that I have that. Huh? And and I am arrogant enough to know that nobody else got it. If I don't got it, nigga, you don't got the answers. My grandmother told me a long time ago. 
she she was talking about some of the people that would come to our church, and she said, you know, I've been I've been praising God for a long time. God ain't never really spoke to me, so I don't imagine God spoke to them. And these my motherfuckers, they sitting up here. She ain't said like that though. You know what I'm saying? But the point was, the point was that she felt that if God didn't speak to her in the way that other people was talking about God spoke to them. Like, you know, you go someplace and say, God told me. And they will use God as the authority so you can't question God since you can't question God. And you believe that this person has a certain relationship with God. And they say something, so this means that it came straight from God. It's coming through their mouth. You can't question that shit. My grandmother never believed that shit. Right? Just because you say you spoke to God, nigga, I don't know. I, it's a great possibility that you didn't. Right? So, I am hyped up today. Why? Because we have our warrior training. Now, before the warrior training, we will be having fitness dance that's going to be going on at the millennial community school those of you that receive my text and will receive my text those that have questions warrior training of course will take place over at the millennial community school today we got martial arts we got african drum and dance we're gonna have our discussion you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be um i want to i want to talk to some of the young people about some of the anime that they're watching some of the tv shows that they're watching so i could catch up on it and we can start Add that into our conversation, as well as I may be trying to teach them our style of playing Mancala, our cultural way of playing Mancala to get us ready for this world that we are in, right? One of the ways that you teach your children how to deal with the world is by the games that they play. The games that they play prepares them for life. Mancala is one of the best games that I have seen that can get your mind prepared to be able to work from our cultural perspective. And be able to get in the world and understand how things work with the perfect move and the sharp moves and the different ways of counting the bees and being able to count quickly so you can mix in math, you mix in, you, you mix in um, um, uh, 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 systems, you, you're learning to be able to predict, you're learning to take advantage in certain situations, and sometimes you're learning to sit back and wait. You know what I'm saying? Boom, great, great, that's great still skill set that can be used to help young people in what's going on, right? Monitoring the whole board. What is the board? In the game, the board is the world. Monitoring the whole thing. Making sure you're able to protect what's yours, right? Sometimes letting stuff go. Other times, when it's your time, getting all your shit. Sometimes winning, sometimes losing. And learning from the losses. As well as learning from the wins. So family, I am hyped. I am hyped. Um, one o'clock for all those GNJs. You know what I'm saying? All those, you know. Hey, we meeting as adults from one to about two o'clock. I want to try to do it about one to two. So that we can sit down and we can start doing some extensive planning about the future. Of where we're going. Um, the preparations for Kwanzaa. The preparations for... Um, the future period because like i said i'm still i'm still looking to trying to get a van you know what i'm saying because the last van kind of fell through so i'm glad i didn't start fundraising for that but um we do need to have some transportation available and i got a new mix of um ambrosia that i'm working on hey gina no better yet clean yes, come hither please Go over there and look in that crate of water and give me one of those jars that's in there. Be be careful because I, I haven't I haven't screwed it on tight. So I have a thing for apples. I don't like those regular big red apples. I like those fall apples that come out. And we got some fall apples. So what I'm working on right now, this is apple ginger, right? Mm-hmm. Let this sit for a couple of days. I don't have a breather for this type of jar, and I didn't want to try to squeeze the apples down into my, uh, this jar right here because it'll be hell trying to get them out. You know what I'm saying? I actually could do it. I could blend it up. I might even blend it up and then pour it in. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we're gonna see how this turn out. We're gonna let the ambrosia work its magic on this apple. 
eat this sugar up in his uh, in these apples and his ginger see what type of flavor we get and we'll sample it right here on the journey so stick around you might be able to get a sip you know um and if if i like it and if it's not too explosive like some of my other mixtures um in the fall time i may be able to do that for for other folks right now that's just an experiment that's that apple and ginger <sighs> Man, I'm just feeling, I'm feeling it right now. Get your water. Get your glass. You know what it is. You know what it is. Drink your water. Come on. Come on. Come on, drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should we say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Man, crap the tap and drink some water. Lift your glass and pour some water. Lift your glass and pour some water. Lift your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Look at that, that's a glass. Drink, 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 drink. Now move your body, drink some water. Oh. Move your body, drink some water. Move your body, drink some water. Move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Or should we say, move, move, then drink. Oh, shout out to CeeLo. Now lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Now lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Now lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Lift your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Should we say lift, toast, then drink? Now take your breath and drink some water. Lift your glass and pour some water. Move your body, drink some water. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, drink, lift, move all down. Let's try it again. Breathe, lift, move, toast. Take your breath. Lift your glass. Move your body. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Lift your glass, lift your glass, lift your glass. All right, shouts out to Miss CeeLo, I see you up on the line. Shouts out to Tylee's Ladybug, I see you out there as well. Now, family, oh, I remember, remember, remember. There are only four things, there's four pillars to help, right? On a new shirt that I'm working on, I got to get this past, I got to get this past my crew because, you know, Getting these shirts out is not cheap. So, on there, we talk about, because, you know, we deal with a lot of numbers. So, we go, the concept of oneself, be able to do with the, deal with the two polarities, know the three levels of learning, build your life on the four pillars of health, unite the five parts of your being, utilize the six emotions, Practice the seven principles and acknowledge the seven days. Recognize the power of the eight and master at least one of the nine 
areas of life. Bah. All right, so now, four. Four pillars of health. What are the four pillars of health? Family, we are suffering in our communities right now with a lot of useless diseases. Of course, disease is useless, but we got diseases. We're getting diseases that we don't need to have. And what I'm finding in the research that I've been doing is that we suffer from improper breathing, which means there's a way to breathe. And there's a way that if you breathe on a regular basis, mainly through your nose, every now and then taking them deep breaths, every now and then holding before you release your breath and breathing out and adding some breathing practices to your regimen. You could go on and eliminate some of these, especially these autoimmune diseases. This just basically means that your immune system is attacking your body. That means that there's an imbalance in your body. So, boom, breathing is one of the key components of dealing with that. Two, not drinking enough water. Coffee, juice, tea, wine, liquor don't count as drinking. You need to drink water. Good water, not that sink shit, okay? Good water, right? Here we go. Mm. Like I'm doing right now. Water and breath. Breath is the most important. Water is the second most important. Getting proper water in you. Brother Hot Tim, how much water should we live? How much water should we drink? You should drink half your weight in ounces every day. Then you go and partake. And on your stuff, right? The next one is eating a culturally appropriate diet. What do you mean culturally appropriate? Every people came up with certain foods that were basically designed by nature for you, or better yet, your body adapted to those foods. As people of African descent, we have particular things that we need to add to our diet. For those that have questions, Please go to the African Heritage Diet, right? There is, There are people in our community right now that are doing research and getting certified, if they are not already certified, in being able to demonstrate how to add culturally appropriate foods to your diet. Every culture develops a staple of foods. When you go to other countries, they eat certain things. They're not like us in America. In America, well, this night I can eat Greek. Tomorrow I can eat Italian. I can eat French. I can eat that shit over there. We can eat fast food, which is that shit over there. You know what I'm saying? We got so many choices, and we got we we eat a whole bunch of different stuff. But when you go to other countries and you visit other countries, people's diets are very basic, right? And this is, well, all I'm saying is. Go on, do your Italian, do your Greek, do, but you have to add a variety of food, spices, oils that are culturally specific for you. All right. Um, let me see. Shouts out to CeeLo. Shouts out to Tylese. I see you out there. Um, Dale Hollingsworth. What's up, my friend? I need to get one of them shirts ASAP and put me on the salesman committee to sell and promote such beautiful beautiful concepts. Got you, Dale. All right, because I got to go and print some more of these shirts up. Now, all the ones I got are black. And as CeeLo, you know, I, for the ladies, I got pink, right? And I know some of y'all like, what about the days? You know, I have to get enough orders for the different colors for the days because each day has a color. So, you see, I try to switch my shirts out when I can find them, you know, because I, it's real life here over Gianni. Real life, as you can hear. The girls, and by the way, CeeLo, the girls are at, um, the girl, well, Sasha went to go get her hair done. Gina is here. She didn't hear me singing, so she wasn't able to participate with her usual rebellion of the no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? You know, they got to rebel. All right, so uh, let me see who else. Uh, all right, so one of the things I wanted to share with you. Now, right now, I'm reading a book. I'm reading a book. It's called the... Uh, Divine Nine or something. I heard about is about secret societies. No, I'm not going into the conspiracy shit. This is a book by a brother by the name of Dr. Ian Smith, I think. And he was initiated into one of the 
um, secret societies at Harvard. And he's bringing up some good stuff, right? And when I say good stuff, see, because some people is looking like, I'm trying to crack the code. See, black folks, listen. Stop trying to solve conspiracies and let's start creating conspiracies. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to combat a conspiracy, you set a conspiracy that will set you up in a certain at a certain level. See, once you start conspiring, because I want you to think about that. What does that mean? Conspiring. When you, once you start conspiring, oh, I forgot the fourth one. You're right, Christine. The fourth pillar is movement, proper movement. You need to be moving. And we have cultural ways of moving, too. That's why we got the African drum and dance. That's why we got the warrior training with the martial arts and the breathing and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, so now, um, but in this book, one of the things that you understand is that secret societies or societies within groups of people are developed to, one, promote education and the protection of that society. Where are our conspiracies? I was, I, I, I was, I've been working on a poem. I wrote this poem out years ago. I was never ever, ever, never able to finish the poem or even start it. But the question was, where are our conspiracies? We say we want to be free. That means we have to conspire. That means we have to set up orders in which we are training people. We are training people, right? Because when I'm in school, I am mesmerized by the fact that we have black teachers, we have black men. None of us are really conspiring to educate our young people about who we are. Not only about who we are, but what your duty as a person is. I do what I do because it's my duty. It's my duty to protect our ancestors and protect that, that, that legacy and to get people to start learning how to promote their own their, their, their own lineage. You know what I'm saying? Respecting where we're from. I'm so sick of my people talking about, like I was talking to some young people yesterday and you know, because I was trying to make a point to them because I was trying to teach a class. I was going to teach them some breathing techniques, but I couldn't get to the breathing techniques because they couldn't take anything serious. And, you know, so I got into, this is what you up against. And what I'm, what I'm bothered by is that a lot of y'all don't see yourself as black. And, of course, one of the girls say, I'm not black, I'm brown. I said, see that? That's exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You, you're not even understanding the words that's coming out of my mouth because you know so goddamn much. You know, but I'm going gonna, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna to stop right there for them. And I said, listen, this is what, I'm, this is what I need y'all to understand. I said, how many of y'all? know and heard about Cardi B. Oh, I know about, ooh, Cardi B. Ooh, I said, how many of y'all know about Nicki Minaj? Ooh, I grew up with Nicki Minaj. Ooh, I know about Nicki Minaj. I said, okay, how many of y'all know about the Migos? Oh, man, nah, 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 boom, boom, boom. And I could have spotted out a couple more. And they'd be like, I said, but how many of y'all know about Marcus Garvey? Oh, I know him. He was a mu an old music artist. So, so y'all know about Marcus Garvey. I said, how many of y'all know? How many y'all know about Booker T. Washington? How many y'all know about Harriet Tubman? Now I want you to listen to the words. So how many y'all know about Harriet Tubman? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about Harriet Tubman. I said, what did Harriet Tubman do? She went and she freed slaves. I said, hmm, hmm, okay. Who were the slaves? See, our kids have even started talking about our ancestors in a third party, in a third third person type thing, like they're not connected to it. If you say that Harriet Tubman was freeing the slaves, you're saying that like you're disconnected from what those people were who Harriet Tubman was going to get. She wasn't going to get no goddamn slaves. She was going to get your great, great grandparents. Hmm. Hmm. Family, we got a long way to go because we're not conspiring for our own future. We're concerned about everybody else's conspiracies. Now we got aliens and all types of shit. Family, where is our conspiracy for us to move 
our young people and ourselves into a different place in life. This is, a, this is very important. Where is, where is our secret societies? Where, you know what I'm saying? Where is those groups? Oh, I'm my fault. I, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm getting busy. See, because I understand, I know what's coming for my kids. I understand the statistics. I know the difference between wealth and income. And I understand what, what statistics say and how they can be true or how they cannot be true. But I cannot help but to notice the kind of, the kind of truth of that if we don't start doing something different by 2053, which is in my children's lifetime, 2053, which is in my children's lifetime, and my grandchildren lifetime, and I sit up here and I toast every day to our future, and for me not to take actions in the now to make sure that I'm able to secure that future, but that but the, the estimates are by 2053, the black family's wealth, the black family, the majority, 50, over 50% 50 will be at zero. The median wealth will be at zero. That's not income. Family, let's come on, get up out of that shit. Income is not wealth. Because you can't transfer an income. You can transfer wealth from one generation to another. Now, what I want to read to you right now is an abstract of a, pa a paper by uh, a dude by the name of Dr. William Darity Jr., and he wrote a paper called 40 Acres and a Mule in the 21st in the 21st century. He is um professor of public policy studies of African and African American studies econ and economics at Duke University. Um let me just read the what he have right here. In general a program of reparation is intended to achieve three objectives. Acknowledgement of a grievous injustice, redress, redress for the injustice, and the closure of the grievance held by the group subjected to the injustice. Three types of injustice motivate a program of reparations for black Americans. And we have to be very clear about that because as black Americans, we have a specific claim on this country specific very specific and we got to stop letting it get watered down family it gets watered down when we get into all this people of color talk and we we allow everybody else to, to move in and to sample our kool-aid you know what i'm saying hell with that all right for reparation for black americans slavery slavery the nearly century-long jim crow regime well, these are the issues. Three types of injustice motivated a program of reparation for black America. Slavery, the nearly century-long Jim Crow regimen following Reconstruction, and ongoing in discrimination. An inauguration of a reparations program on behalf of black Americans, preferably, will be undertake undertaken via legislative action at the federal level rather than by judicial fiat. Logistical issues addressed in the article include determination of the magnitude of the reparations bill and a criteria to be used to identify those eligible to receive reparations. The present day value of a 40 acres in a mule can provide the foundation for the calculations of the magnitude of the reparations owed to black Americans. So there is a debt. Now, and I know some people be like, um, brother, hot Tim, you know what I'm saying? We can't constantly talk talking about that because they ain't going to They ain't going to Listen, family, let me say this to you. As a group, sometime we get and this is why I started on the first part about spirituality. Sometimes we get so spiritually wrapped up in some bullshit that we miss any opportunities that are presented for us. 
Let me get to my chat because I'm about to piss some of y'all off. Right? Because I'm about to piss some of y'all off here, right? We get so spiritual that we apply our spiritual beliefs and our spiritual systems to everyone. And we expect that everyone operates under those same rules. Now, I am going to find a quote in the next couple of weeks while I'm going through this book because it's 15 hours long because I'm listening to the book. But it's a quote in the book that I think is very pertinent for us. Because what we have is we have a multi, we are at war. You know what I'm saying? We at war. And a war can't just be won on the battlefield. A war is never just won on the battlefield. It's the strategies off the field of war that plays a more important part. Because why you got those fighting on the battlefield, you got to have people that are in support of those troops that are on the field. And if any part of that support of those troops that's on the field are is compromised, then your troops on the field will suffer a great disadvantage to those that they are fighting. So when you fight a war, you understand that there's a multi-pronged strategy. There's an economic strategy. There's a political strategy. There's a social strategy. You're saying you look at all areas of life. Is war is going on in all areas of life. And whenever you are doing that, you have to be wise enough to step back. And be like, cool, well, I might be on the front lines, but they do such and such and stop worrying about them. One of the stories I told the children was a story about the stomach and his members. And basically the breakdown of the stomach, the, the breakdown of the story is that all the body parts got upset because the stomach was the one that received the food. And they all felt that they should receive the food. So they decided as a body, they shut the stomach out and said they weren't going to do shit until the food was equally given to everybody. But they didn't understand the role of the stomach. And in shutting down and not communicating and not talking to the stomach and shutting the stomach out, the whole body eventually died. And that's what that's what we do a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? The stomach digests the food and and, and distributes it, distributes what it digests to the rest of the body. But since the since the eyes didn't really understand this, the eyes stopped doing their job because they like, I should get the food. And it knows I should get the food. When it's the stomach that is designed to receive the food, break it down and share it with the rest of the body. Some of us, we get in these situations. So let me go on back and read some of these comics here real quick. Um, yeah, and Christine's um, sister CeeLo corrected me. I didn't say number four appropriate movement. And I apologize for that appropriate movement. You got to get up. You got to get up and you got to move. Um, speak the truth to the elders and the young black youths from Brother Dale. Um, um, C. Lo say like yoga. Proper preparedness prevents poor performance at all times. Um, Christine throw a high shade. Shouts out to Miss Vanessa Lynn. Waving back at you, girl. Waving back at you. I got that lemon, lime, and ginger up in here right now. I'm going to have probably maybe about... Two gallons of that, cause I found my found my equipment. Let me go over here and make sure nobody's speaking to me on Spreaker. Remember, families' lines are open. Let me throw that up in the chat so that everybody could call in if they want to call in. We're about to do this toast real quick. Call in after the toast, and we can have a conversation. I'm gonna break down some of the proverbs that I didn't call in. Number six one four. Five five six four five three five. Family realize that I'm um I'm gonna be out here. I ain't gonna be able. Ooh, it went out. Oh, but it didn't go to Facebook. I don't understand. Huh? That's a first. All right. So what I do is I got a shortcut for that one. I'm gonna put it on uh, here on the journey. No, I go to my Spreaker. No, not to my Spreaker. I go to my hoot suite and I post it up on the hoot suite because it's sweet. Let's see here, boom, call in number. Open at six one four 
556-4535. Boom. It's up on that one. And I also need to go over here to my Facebook. Hold on. Uber conference is up. I want to make sure my phone lines is open. And I need to go back. Okay. Go back to my page. I want to make sure it's up on my page because we also streaming. Well, let me check. Maybe we're not streaming on Facebook. Can y'all see me on Facebook? Can y'all see me out there? Am I up? Well, I guess if I'm not up, you wouldn't be able to respond, right? That was stupid. That was a stupid question on my part. I went too far back. Let's go back. There we go. Get on Facebook. Find where I'm streaming live. And I'll put it up there so that y'all can go on and, and, and tune in. Let's see. All right, here I go right here. We're going to go on and click on that. See what happens. Who's sad? Somebody put the... Oh, hold on. Oh, God. That's where all the comments are. Great. I want the ambrosia that you have and will be available. No, no, no. Not today. Now, let me tell you about this ambrosia. I have to let it sit and I have to let it breathe because if I don't and I'm sending it out too early, it'll blow up. Unless you drinking it all right away, uh-uh, no. Like I say, like in it, because this shit will blow up, so I have to let it breathe for your safety as well as my sanity, all right? Because I have lost many a bottles. I've been experimenting with this for about three years now. Call in lines. Open. 614-556-4535. Bow. There we go. Oh, it did. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. So it popped up on the GMA. Okay, that's dope. I am confused. I don't know how this works. All right. Sorry, family. So all of this stuff is not popping up. Yes, I can see you. Okay, cool. Allende is up. What's up, Allende? Are you ready for the day, my friend? Okay, all of them showing up now. Wow. So we are up on we are up on YouTube. We on two channels on YouTube. We on Periscope. We on um, Stream Me. We on Facebook as well. So family, let's get it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna drink my water. So while I'm drinking my water, I am going to play a small commercial. I am a Giami man. I was born for greatness. My greatness comes from my potent center. I pledge to find and connect with my center. I pledge to build my spirit, mind, and body. I pledge to use my hands to build a better world for myself, my loved ones, and my community. I pledge to use my mind to think deeper, further, and higher to create a better reality for myself. I pledge to live my life and go beyond all my self-imposed limitations. I pledge to promote the principles of the Giambi warrior and to assist all those seeking a path of success. I pledge all these things first to myself, to my teachers, to all my relations, and to my higher power. I am Giambi. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. That is the Giami players that are said by all of our true members at least once a day. Peace and welcome to our YouTube channel. Check out our videos and podcasts. Subscribe as well as join the journey. Push past your self-imposed limitations with in the Giami journey. Peace. Strong. All right, so I'm not going to pull from the new bottle. This one has been up here for about three days. Uh-oh, I got a text. I got a question. Ah, let's see. Ooh, can you hear it? Can y'all hear it? Can y'all hear it on speaker? Y'all hear it? Uh, see, 
Cause happy days are here again. See, and that's a little scroby that's forming up in there. That little bubble, that's that's a scoby that's forming. So we got scobies, family. So those of you that want to learn how to ferment or to brew, depending on what style you want to do. Now, the difference between a fermenter is a fermenter, I'm a fermenter. I don't boil. I don't boil my tea. I let my tea sit and I let it go out through the natural method of the water and connecting with the with, with the tea bags. Shaka brews. Shaka's a brewer, and we have a couple other brewers within the community. Um uh, Okay, I understand. I'll be trying for uh, three weeks for work. Wow. Um. Mm. Mm. Three weeks. I gonna I I gonna have to put you a special order together because I just I just I just put this together so it won't be as strong as the last batch. So I want to make sure you have, you know, what I'm saying I want to make sure you got what you need. Um. I can, I will have a gallon, I can put you together a gallon of original, but you're going to have to drink it and cap it every day, because the lemon ginger won't be ready for about another three days, and uh, like I said, because I, I'm like, yo, she said, wow, um, see, and the only, you don't have to fear about that, sister, because we make this ourselves. The next step is buying a beehive. I'm not fucking around. I'm, listen, I'm not, listen. We about, like I said, we have, for me, this is a staple. And it's still talking. We have a staple. We know how to make this. The only thing I need now, I need a piece of land with, with, with water. With water rights where I'm going to get our own water. Have our own beehive set up. You know what I'm saying? And eventually maybe find some place where I could go and get some green tea where we growing that shit, right? And just be, this is, we could make it from the beginning to the end. You know, uh, but I can't remember where I was going. But anyway, don't worry about it. So here we go. We about to toast. I finished the water. And we about to salute our ancestors. Hopefully everybody that's listening have given me uh, the list of your ancestors if, if they are not on the list By all means you could go and type them in right now um, So that I can go and salute your ancestors as well You know what I'm saying Because for us in Giame It is very important That we celebrate our ancestors um, Hell for an African is being forgotten And we strive not to forget Any of those that were major factors In our lives we want to keep our ancestors' memories alive. And by our example and our motto, our children will do the same for us. You know what I'm saying? That's that, you know what I'm saying? That's that pass on the culture thing. That's that secret, you know, that's that's what those secret societies is passing on and protecting the culture, right? Have we set up an engine to protect our culture? Regardless of what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, right now, my kids, is they're learning a language that is theirs. Right? That's theirs. So they'll be able to talk in front of people about certain things that we are dis discussing and describing that other people will not be able to understand. Why? Because Brother Hatim is conspiring for our future. Giami Journey is conspiring for our future. And I would, I would advise you to start conspiring for your future, right? Planning, getting it together, building it up on, on your, you know what I'm saying, with your family and your tribe, with, with, with your ancestors. What are some of the lessons that they passed on to you that you could, that you could, co that you could codify and pass on to the next generation so that they can be successful? And what was those things that they were doing that was not successful that you could start eliminating? And you and our children, we will be able to develop our family two point and three point and four point oh, rather than moving backwards. Our programming, is, it seems like it's degrading. You know what I'm saying? It, it's degrading. And what we have to do is we have to go on and look at the code of our culture. 
Start learning the code of our culture and start writing and filling in the holes because the program is not working right. When our kids, I mean, really, when our kids know, uh, they know Cardi B, but don't have any idea about a Marcus Garvey or don't have any idea. I mean, they, they know the name Malcolm X or they know the name Martin Luther King, but do they really know have... Have you really invested in saying this is what this person was for? Because what's happening is all of our heroes are being humanized. And what do I mean by that? Not for, my fault, not humanized, universalized. They were fighting for the rights of all people. And we got to be clear that they were fighting for the rights of black people. Now, what happened for other people was an added benefit, but we have to be very clear about that. And for some reason, we get uncomfortable about that. If you talk to black people, they be uncomfortable about being black and shit. You know what I'm saying? Be like, damn, you, why you feel you got to apologize for being who the fuck you are? Another story I told the kids is about the crow and the raven. Check out the story. The crow wanted to be the raven. Because the raven, you know what I'm saying, was looked upon by everybody as Blessed. But the crow, who looks almost exactly like the raven, was looked at as a curse, was looked at as a thief, was looked at as in all types of negative ways. And the crow internalized this and decided that rather than be a crow, he was going to strive to be a raven. But we all know how that would turn out, right? Because a crow can't be a raven because a crow is a crow. So crow became ashamed of being a crow. So when he talked to other, other birds and they say, you a crow, he's like, I'm not a crow, I'm a raven. I'm not, I'm not a crow. I'm a bird like all of you. We all are birds. We have, I'm a bird, but I'm a sparrow, nigga. I'm, you, I don't, you know, you, what's up? Well, I'm a bird. I belong to the bird species. Well, I'm proud of being a sparrow. A sparrow is a type of bird. And I have certain sparrow needs and, and I have a certain sparrow drive. And the crow is like, well, you know, we all, no, nah, dog. We got to understand. Stop playing these games and stop allowing people to play the games with you. Dude, if you're not black, I can't fuck with you. You're confused. You're dangerous. And we have to start being honest about this. This type of, these type of individuals are dangerous. Why? Because they allow or they spread a virus of discontent. Discontent for who you are. Shame for who you are. Do you not understand the power in the history of your own bloodline for you to still be standing here with a goddamn electronic device in your pocket that you can communicate all over the continental United States for free? And broadcast your image to the world? Do you not understand the, the hardship that your particular line had to go through in order for you to even be positioned where you are today? And now you want to give all that away and just become a universal human? What in the blazes is wrong with you? When you come from the strongest of people, the most beautiful, oh my God, listen, we don't, and I get, I get kind of excited about this because I'm seeing, and because where my children are is not my children's fault. It's our fault because we fail for the con. And what's the kind that we all are just humans? We're specific types of humans that was put on the planet for a specific reason. Nature does not create differences within species just because nature's like fucking with people. Nature creates differences so that the people, so that the people, the, the overall group can totally survive because it's the differences that make it possible for us to move and to survive on this planet. Some of us could take heat better. Some of us could take cold better. Some of us could take certain viruses better than others. So if one group is wiped out, we all, we all don't have to leave here. So it's good to embrace the differences. 
I'm not saying you got to go out there and tout them and, 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 and downgrade other people, but I'm talking about feeling comfortable enough with you and not be like that goddamn crow in the story, in the Aesop's fable, where you're trying to be, where you're not trying to be you. So that means that you will give up all that you are so that you could be something else and then you will promote that something else that in the end is not good for your future generations. You know what they call that? That's called treason. Now, let me tell you the rule of gangsters. In every gangster movie, and I want you to go back and look at them yourself. What happens when a traitor goes to another gang and gives information about that gang that he, that, that he traded from to that gang, to the enemy? What happens to him? What is the rule? Because it's not, it's not just movie shit. Do you know what my responsibility is to a traitor? After I get done using them. What is it? Somebody. Let me see. Somebody out there got to know. What is my responsibility? If I'm running Giame. And Giame is at war with another crew. Giame is at war with another group. And I get a traitor. That comes over to me and be like. Yo man I can give you all the information about them. Blah 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 blah. What is my responsibility to them if I win the battle with the information that they gave me? What is my requirement? What is my cultural appropriate response to this individual and why? Because I want y'all to see what happens when you play the universal game and you become a traitor and you commit treason against your people because I need to show you what happens to those that do that. I know somebody out there got to know. I'm just, I'm running my mouth. Let me see. Any my family out there? Anybody know? Am I still on Facebook? Am I still on YouTube? Am I still up? Have I been blocked yet? Well, I ain't saying nothing super offensive. Yet, I guess. You know, I don't know. Come on. What is my responsibility? I don't see nobody on Spreaker. I guess I'm talking to myself, which is cool. I've been doing that for years. All right. So let me tell you what the responsibility is. After the battle is over, I have to help my new friend join his crew. It's the rule. It's the rule. I have to set example for all those that are in my ranks, for all those that's in my family, for all those that's in my tribe. To let them know what happens to traitors. I have to execute you publicly. So that all can see what happens to a traitor. Check the gangster movie. Check some of the war movies. Hell, check out how America is dealing with some of the Iraqis that they were supposed to take care of after the war. Yeah, some of them made it through, leaking out some, you know. But let's let's really look at it. Let's think about it. You know, I know a lot of y'all don't think like that. You don't think you ain't going that deep, right? You know what I'm saying? But I have to go that deep. Because I'm thinking that big. Thinking that big. You know? I mean, you know, a lot of people wonder, well, brother, I tell them, how can you work with such and such? Or how can you do? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking bigger. Because I, I understand what we up against. I'm seeing the numbers. I'm reading the stories. My my, my, my elders have, have ingrained in me a, 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 a responsibility to think. I have a responsibility. I take it very seriously. Very. I'm willing, 
willing not only to live for it, but I'm willing to lay down my life for it. And I know a lot of people don't, you don't love nothing like that, right? There's very few things that you would love like that. Right? But I, I, I deserve that the children that I bore and the children that I have taken responsibility for are worth it. And I believe that any deity that would condemn me for some of the shit that I may have to do is not worthy of worship. I'm just being honest with you. I'm just being honest with you. Because I, you know what I'm saying? Because I read the same Bible that a lot of y'all read. And I got some, I got some, I, 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 you know, maybe I'm twisted. But I, David was a gangster. Right? And I, I see, I, I, and I see a lot of people skip over that shit. <clears throat> David was a gangster, right? You look at a lot of those motherfuckers when you read when you reading in them scriptures. I want you to look at how many people had to be sacrificed, and how. Hell, let's look at ancient Egypt, ancient Kemet. Hmm. Right? Because a lot of us throw up Maya, but then how does Maya apply when we go to war? Hmm. Hmm. Come on now. Was Maya a universal principle? Or was Maya a principle that was comedic? Applied to comedic people. And spread and if you accept it the way you know what I'm saying we we could work with you mm. I wasn't forcing it on you because if you didn't practice it, it it was something definite that was coming for you especially if you was coming towards my borders or my borders need to expand into your territory real life here Gianni real life real talk all right so family this is why, this is why, this is why I, 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 I stay away from anything street related, right? Because I'm looking at shit and I'm like, damn, you know, <laughs> y'all not playing the game to win. Y'all playing the game to stay in. And that's what we got to get out of too. If we going to play, if we going to be in this, we got to be playing to win. Nobody respect a motherfucker that's just on the court. Or on the field. People respect those motherfuckers that's playing to win. Even if the motherfucker lose the game, I might want to recruit you for my team. Because I've seen the desire in you. I've seen the rest of those mother, those those people out there. Right? But I've seen the desire in you. It's about playing to win. Mm-mm. I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't want my future generations to... I want them to have a whole nother set of struggles. I don't want to pass on what I'm struggling with. I want to pass on different problems for them. Right? We need to pass on different problems. This shit right here in our lifetime, we need to solve. We're old. Right? And I know a lot of y'all be like, they ain't gonna never get... I ain't, it ain't about what they fucking gonna give. It's about what we gonna take. It's about what... You know what I'm saying? And until we get into that mind state, we always gonna be fucked up. It's about what you're going to take. You give a fuck about your feelings because they don't care about your feelings. But hey, let me go and do this toast. First, give an eye to the creator by whatever name you call, you choose to call the creator. We lift up our glass and we salute that creator. The first, the first source, the first cause, right? We lift up the glass, we say ashe. From there, we move to the stars of the show. We move to our ancestral list. And like I said, if you want your ancestors on there, sign up for the Black Signal. 614-300-1875. Once again, 614-300-1875. Right? Text. That's a text number. Text in your information. Right? Boom. Brother Hot Tim, I want my ancestors on the list. I'll send you a form back. Bada bing, bada bow. You know what I'm saying? I bring you into this thing of ours. Right? All right. So here we go. Saluting. 
Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin the Texas, Adam Davis, Herm Brown, Senior, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Christopher, Eddie Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland, Geneva Brown, Marco Ellis, Watch Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Abar Brown, Jenny Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Watch Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Falar, Montague Pimenel, No More X, Sepet Maya Rob, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marion Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Plaza Youth of Western, Elder Ogeny, Elder Ryan Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Ector Jr., J. Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez has William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling Lucy Wright, Dag Al Pulley, and the Luxor Brother, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Miss Reed Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kale Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Tridge, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Rinderman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend J. Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Cop- Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beattie, Sarah Willoughby, the former, I go to Sue, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Lena Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Darrell, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Bear, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Erica Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary, Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keisha Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jerrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy Seven Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sergeant Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavina Hall, Freeman Bankster, May Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quills, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Leon Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.C. Johnson, W. D. Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. S. Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Elion Grace, Betsy Johnson, Hattie Sylvester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amitet Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula, Lula Berry, Lacey Ellen Ohio, Frank Russell Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, being the Triggs, Reverend Eddie Holt Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. We move to our pretty book. Delise Waters, Shelby McClendon, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Michael and Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Mazarin Cofer. George Swan, Edmonia Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles A. Scott, Reginald Oliver, Linda Howard, Jacqueline Broadus, Ethel H. McNair, Louis Fernandez, Edward R. Benson Sr., Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rayshawn Easley, Javea McCormick, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robbie Lee Caldwell, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Urban, Haroon Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Arnstead, Margaret Arnstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Morel Ellis, Elizabeth Battles, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Baba Naeem, Tim Butler, Ramey, Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Bat Vaughn, Lil Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, Henry West Staten, Joe Jamel Alls, Miss Vanella, Albus Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Erlington Houston, Albert Moore, Leroy Q. Heap Sr., Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Vivian Stevenson, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Manny and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Kofer, Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Lester and Rachel Saunders, John Bowie, Alex Nixon, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimmel Vernon Bradley, Kim, Janie Harry Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron, Nino, Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson. 
Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Aunt Becca, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Haley Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, June Evans, Donna Hill, Richard Glebus, Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G2 Gibson, Emma McClendon, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Booth Jefferson, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bur Bertha, Michael Lennon, David Brown, Hazel Gadsden, Jay Bradley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaneko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Thomas Bradley, Uncle Buki, yeah, Reverend Roosevelt Word the First, Jennifer Sensenbaugh, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Nelan Blair Sr., Edward, Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Florence Evans, Pamela Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wilbert Longmire, Edith Catney, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Phyllis Lee, Defridis Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scannelberry, Wilson Headley, Elma Hines. And we lift up our glass. Let me make sure I ain't got no answers. There was um, exile class today, yep. Yeah? You clean up. I don't understand what you mean, Ayende. Uh, lift up. We toast and we say, I say. From their family, where do we go? We go to the present moment. We are in the now. We are about to toast the now. Damn, Rod, come on. What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. All right, family, we are in the now. Well, all our power lies. So here we go. We are in the day of Kaumba. For those that don't speak the language, that's creativity. The myotic principle of the day is order. Color is orange. Um, cause and effect is the hermetic law, male name, today is your day, Kwame, female name, Ama, what's up Ama, it's your day today, alright, here we go, um, color is orange as y'all see, right, got on a daily toaster shirt, orange, alright, African Center Culture Virtue and Value System, this is pulled from the Emotional Emancipation Circle, in Warlock today, we're looking at jump or job, good character, just, honest, righteous. A kind ethic, strong character. Oju Inu, insight, that's from Yoruba, right? Um, and we need to monitor our emotions in these moments, right? We be going through, try to remember the, the, the chart the Elder Wakesa developed for us. It's called Cracking the Code. Crack the Code, right? What are your emotions trying to tell you? We have peaceful, powerful, and joyful, right? But we also have mad, sad, and scared. What is the signal they're trying to give you? What are the questions that you need to ask? This is why we need to bring this brother back, because we need a full weekend retreat. We spend hours practicing and working on this, because a major issue in that five parts of our being, we, you know, we... The intuition we could work on, the mental we could work on, the spiritual, you know, we could work on, the physical, but the one thing that sticks out like a sore thumb is that emotional, this means I'm emotional, this finger right here, the emotional part of us, right here, this is the motion out the five fingers, you see, five fingers, that's the emotions, they stick out like a sore thumb. They prevent us from being able to move to the next level. 
So family, if you are emotional and you your life has been torn up by your emotions, you know, and you want to bring this finger down so that you can form a fist, so that we can punch through all of the shit that's holding us back. You understand what I'm saying? You you. But if the emotions is up, it's hard to 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 effectively be able to defend yourself or to even attack. Got to get. Put those emotions. You know, I know it's hard, but we have to learn how to control our emotions and get all of our stuff working together so that we can either pick something up, move it to a next level, push, grab, punch through. All right. So we salute this moment and we say, Ashe. Uh, now we move from there. We move to the future. We toast our children, our children's children, onto Fendi. We toast them in advance. In advance. Okay? So we lift up the glass and we say, I say, from there, we toast all of our relations. Toast it and we say, I say. From there, family, where do we go? Of course. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? You ready? You sure? All right, from there, I lift up my glass for you. This is that selfish toast. What is it that you need? We call our ancestors every day. You know what I'm saying? We talk to our ancestors on a daily basis. And the question is, what is it that you need? Right? And we say, I say. From there, family, we move. And we move from there. We go straight to you. I toast you. All of you that take the time, whether you're sitting here with me right now, all of you that take the time to call in, all of you that are, you know what I'm saying, that's in the struggle with me. I salute you because you are the most powerful being in the room. Most beautiful, powerful being in the room. Use that power effectively in the now. Activate your reticular formations, family. I want you to find Kaumba. We on a Kaumba today. Where's the creativity in our community? Where's it coming out? Highlight those organizations. Highlight those individuals that is practicing and living the principle of Kaumba. And with that, we say Ashe. I say, I say. Family, I wish you peace, power, and joy. I'm going to stand here and sip. If there's anybody want to call in and have a discussion about anything I spoke about or about these uh, proverbs that I was supposed to go over, we can do that. Ooh. Ooh. Woo. Damn. Pop my back. Man. Oh, girl, you ate so nicely. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm Lines are open, 614-556-4535. We have exercise class a day from 12 to 1. This exercise in the dance and fashion, hip-hop dance. So those of you that want to have fun and share some pounds, adults, come on out. This ain't just... This call is being recorded. Somebody on the line. Who is this? It's Sister Zavilla. What's going on with you? I'm chilling, sitting up here sipping on this ambrosia. Okay, okay, well. I'm feeling um, I got into the tune in on the late side of the game. But um, did you talk about the movie today and the warrior training today? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. As well as the workout piece. Oh, you yeah. said the movie. Okay, okay. Well, what I'll movie? see you up there because I'm getting myself together now. You said the movie. What so, movie? I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say movie. I meant to say the exercise thing. Right. Yeah. Right. And, uh, and then people need to be thinking of a movie in the meantime now. A movie that we want to see, family. Let's yeah, get it. Because we got another one coming up soon. So. Right. I need to get something on the table. Okay, well, let me get ready then. I'll see you at the school. All right. Family, I hope to see you the rest of you at the school. Um Say what? I was I was talking I was talking to everybody else. Uh brother Ayanda, you say you clean up. I don't understand what that means. Hey, I'm gonna iron my shirt. I'm gonna iron my pants. And I gotta go all the way up north first before I come down, so I'll be there. Um So um, and by the way, some of the warriors are already over there because uh, we have some that are going to be moving up in rank, so we want to get them prepared. 
Kwanzaa's coming up, so we got to get ready for that. Uh, so if there's nobody else calling in, family, I'm going to sip my ambrosia and go off into the sunset. Hot damn. Mm, mm, mm. You should be making this at home. Mm, mm, mm. Great cool, but to each and every last one of you, I need to remind you that you are now sitting in the presence of the congregation of the mighty, and hopefully you are one of us, and let you know that the, you are now listening to Giami Journey Media. <laughs> this is a Heart of a Symbol production, and we just did another Daily Toast. I don't even know what number this is. <laughs> Strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Now, let me get ready for this warrior training. We'll be there till about 6 p.m. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>